fabulous Friday and it's coming down cats and dogs out there. Welcome to Friday's vlog. This is about as big a mess as you're ever going to see me. <laughs> I just got in from running hills. Uh, it's, it literally is pissing out. Um, I am soaked. My pants are so wet that they are at the moment hanging in the shower dripping. That's how wet I got. Um, it was a great run. Nobody out there. I had the whole place to myself. I think I passed like three people and they were all runners. <laughs> Do the exact same thing I was doing, which is great. Um, I love having the whole seawall to myself. Your brain can just go away. And I was running hills today too. And um, when I'm running hills, I have to cross the bike path quite often to get to the hills that are on the path. And um, on a sunny day with all the bike riders out, it's a dangerous thing because there's a couple of blind corners. And um, I don't want to get smoked by some idiot on a bike going way too fast. So <clears throat> a rainy day when there's no bike riders out, it's a perfect day to run hills because. I'm not in anybody's way and nobody's in my way. So I had a great run. I'm dripping soaking wet. My hair's a wreck. I want to do a weight workout still before I go for my massage. Um, so I guess I'm just going to have to blow dry it and live with it. Because <laughs> I don't have time to have a whole shower workout, then have another whole shower, and then go to my massage, then have another, another whole shower. I'm having three showers today. Screw it. Massage guy's going to have to deal with me. <laughs> oh, well. He's awesome, though. Um, he, I'm sure he understands. He knows what kind of a workout fiend I am. Anyway, today I wanted to talk a little bit more about food because I know I'm probably not touching on quite what a couple of you people are hoping I'll touch on, which is how I eat, what I, not so much what I eat, you guys get that I'm natural in whole foods and all that, but how I eat. Um, and I showed you my spreadsheet a few days ago and um, the reason I keep my spreadsheet is so that I can monitor, it was for several reasons, but one of the reasons is so I can monitor what time of the day I've eaten. That's one of the things that gets entered into the spreadsheet. Um, because I can never, if I don't do that, I can't remember. It's like, how long ago did I eat? I feel kind of hungry. Is it time to eat yet? <laughs> um, I also want to keep track of how many calories I ate with each meal, how many calories I ate for the whole day. Um, so I kind of know when to stop. Um, and I'm getting pretty good at being able to stop when it's the last meal of the day. Like I haven't overeaten because I'm making sure my calories for each meal are with, you know, within a reasonable amount so that by the end of the day I'm still at my maintenance amount of calories because it's still all about calories in, calories out. Yesterday was an exception. Yesterday I, because I, I was out the night before, I went out and had a couple of glasses of wine and the next day I was feeling kind of lethargic and um, didn't really feel like making too much of an effort and I wound up going for brunch with my friend and ate eggs Benny and that's like a thousand calories. I've, I've managed to figure out, I dissected it. <laughs> each ingredient, what's this ingredient worth, how much, how many, you know, how many, how many cups of hollandaise do I think I actually eat with this meal? <laughs> so I figured it out and it's worth about a thousand calories. Um, but it usually sticks with me forever too. Um, so six hours later I'm just starting to think about eating again, which is kind of good. Um, so I wound up eating an Amy's pizza for dinner. <sighs> Another pizza, I think that's pizza three days in a row now. <laughs> oh my god, that's so not like me. What is wrong with me? Maybe you guys are jinxing me. <laughs> Since I started vlogging, it seems like I had more cheat days than ever. Um, but anyway, so that's like another 850 calories. So by the end of the day, and that, that stuck with me for like another six hours. So I only wound up having two meals and a bedtime snack yesterday. And I still was only still at maintenance by the time I went to sleep. Maintenance level calorie count. Um, but usually on a day where I'm being very mindful and trying to eat properly, <laughs> I eat probably five to six meals a day and they're usually between um, two to four hundred and fifty calories each. The first meal is usually somewhere in the neighborhood of two hundred calories mostly because I don't feel like eating a lot in the morning. I'm not a huge breakfast eater but it's been impressed upon me how important breakfast is and I believe that it is. Um, especially before working out. Um, <clears throat> I am guilty of doing fasted cardio which it means no eating, getting up and going. Um, Apparently that's not the greatest thing for you, but it does burn fat pretty fast if you go go and do your cardio fasted. Um, fasted means having not eaten, so that's what you do all night. You don't eat, so fasted cardio. Um, but fasted weight lifting, stupid. Don't do it. There's no glycogen in your muscles. You need that. Um, so anyway, before if, if I'm doing weights, I'll for sure eat breakfast. Um, if I'm doing cardio, I will go on how I feel in the morning because sometimes I wake up famished and I just can't do a run when I'm famished. But if I wake up and I'm just really not in the mood to eat, really, I'll just go get out there and get my run done. 
come back and eat afterwards. Um, so ordinarily, I'll eat a couple of con a couple of hundred calories for breakfast, and then you know my post-workout meal is usually about 325 or so. It's just what it happens to be with the bananas and the strawberries and the cereal and the yogurt and blah blah blah. Um, and then the rest of my meals, I try to keep somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 calories, except maybe dinner. I do tend to get pretty hungry at dinner time, um, so if I can't keep it around 350 calories, it, sometimes it dips up to 500. Um, I do have a really bad problem with late night snacking, late night eating. I can't sleep when I'm hungry. I can't sleep when I'm hungry. I'll lay there all night um, and finally get up and eat before I can sleep. Even, even if I'm dead, dead, dead tired, it just, I just can't do it. And I know that many, many of the fitness gurus out there will advocate not eating for three hours before going to bed. That just does not work for me. Um, there's no way in hell that I can eat three, three hours, w uh, eat, wait three hours, and then go to bed and go to sleep. Mm -mm. So, uh, I mean, every person's different too, right? You have to do what's right for you, and that's what's right for me. Eating right before I go to bed is right for me. Um, so I like, you know, eat my frozen grapes and my wasa crackers with nut butters. You guys have seen me post that on Twitter about a million times. <laughs> I am so addicted to frozen grapes. And I know it's a lot of carbs before bed too, which is another thing that people say you shouldn't do. Um, but for me, carbs don't matter as much as calories in, calories out. I've played around with calorie, uh, ca um, carb cycling and um, it doesn't seem to matter with me too much. Um, Anyway, another thing that I do with all my meals is I try my very, very best to get complex carbs, uh, which is like whole grains um, and complete protein, which is usually animal protein, or it's soy, which we all know I don't eat soy, um, or it's um, the mixing of grains with legumes or grains with nuts, uh, legumes or beans, <laughs> for anybody who doesn't know what that is. Um, if you mix grains with nuts or beans, it turns those two pieces of protein into a complete protein. So uh, I try my best to eat complete protein with every meal. Um, so that's why my wasa crackers with nut butters work so well because it's grains, rye in the cracker and, and nut butter is nuts, right? So it works, well, works out pretty well um, for me and my addiction. Um, so that's, you know, and I, and I try my best to eat greens as often as possible. Uh, spinach or kale or Brussels sprouts or cabbage. I love sauerkraut. It's uh, it's a pretty salty way to eat cabbage. Um, it's it's an okay healthy way to eat it, but it's pretty salty. Um, but uh, I love sauerkraut, so I'll eat pork and sauerkraut quite often. That's a meal my mom used to make for my dad a lot when we were kids. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of greens and uh, lot, uh, complete complete proteins and car uh, complex carbs with every meal. Complex car carbs are not fruit, by the way. But simple carbs for the most part. Um, and I know I'm addicted to fruit, so I wind up eating a little teeny bit of every single thing I like so that I can get a lot of that. I know a lot of people also um, uh, keep track of their ratios of protein to carbs and all that stuff. I don't. I, I find it just a little bit too much math for me, and it still boils down to uh, calories in, calories out for me anyway. So um, I do know that I probably don't eat enough protein, so I have been making a concerted effort to up my protein and and down my carbs just a smidge uh, and see how that works for me. Uh, it might work for me okay. I, I, I'm really having a hard time putting enough protein in my body. Like it feels like it needs to be two chicken breasts with a meal. Well that's all the calories I'm allowed. I can't put any other nutrients in my meal. So I find that difficult. <clears throat> anyway, so that's, that's how I eat. I, 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 the small meals uh, every three hours incidentally. Sorry, that's why I keep track of the time every three hours, every two and a half to four hours really, depending on when I'm starting to get just hungry enough that I have to eat. Sometimes I can't wait three hours. Um, because I, I do believe that that keeps your metabolism on a pretty even sort of keel. I, I don't, I don't want to be dipping and spiking, so that's why I try and eat really regularly uh, as a general rule, um, so um, my metabolism's not spiking and dipping. Um, <clears throat> I think that helps too, to keep, uh, keep your body burning fat at, a, at an optimal rate, at an optimal rate. I'm not speaking properly, but anyway, I do want to get on with my weights workout now. So um, I think that's probably plenty for today. Um, and I'll tweet you guys a little bit later, probably after my massage, because uh, I'm feeling smoking busy today, and I don't want to neglect you guys. I love I love tweeting with you guys. It's such an addiction. You see me tweeting from bed from my iPhone. Oh my God. Uh, anyway, but it's because you guys are so darn interesting. <laughs> 
Anyway, so have a great Friday. It's the weekend. Woohoo. Uh, let's all go out and have some fun in some way. And um, keep healthy and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye.